Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for taking your time to watch my YouTube channel today. This is Abraham Luato Singh Adeyemi. Thank you for taking your time to watch this episode. Uh, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for watching uh, this video. Uh, you will get to hear salvation by grace alone, through faith alone. It's not salvation that so many people preach, but salvation that is faith alone. I mean, by grace alone, through faith alone, in the finished work of Christ, when he died, he was buried, and on the third day, he rose again. So, today, I want to talk about dying in sins or dying in Christ. Uh, this is very important for you to know. Dying in sin and dying in Christ. God has always been giving people conditions uh, to make choice, to make decisions whether they will die in sin or they will die in Christ. Now, in the book of John chapter 8, and I'm going to show you what the Bible says in the book of John chapter 8, I'm going to read that to you. Jesus Christ was addressing uh, a group of uh, Pharisee, and a group of Pharisee and the Jewish people, and in verse uh, 21, he said, then said Jesus again unto them, I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins, whither I go, ye cannot come. Then said the Jews, will he kill himself, because he said, whither I go, ye cannot come, in verse 23. And he said unto them, ye are from beneath, I am from above, ye are of this world, I am not of this world, and verse 24. I said therefore unto you, that ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sin. The reason why Jesus Christ told them that they will die in their sins is that they do not believe. The only condition that, the only reason why a man will die in his sin is because he did not believe in Jesus Christ as the sin bearer. Now, if you can forsake your sins in order for you to be saved, or if you can repent of all your sins in order for you to be saved, then Jesus Christ will not make this statement that if you believe that I am He, what is He talking about? He, okay, we can understand that He's talking about being the Messiah, being the Savior, being the only person who paid the price for their sins. Don't forget in the book of John, chapter 1, verse 29, when John said Jesus coming, what did He say? Say, behold the lamp of God, which take it away, the sin of the world. Now we can see the reason why Jesus came. He came to take away the sins of the world. And these Jews didn't believe in what Jesus Christ came to do. And so many people today do not believe. They will use their tongue to say they believe, but in reality, they do not believe. So I'm sharing this with you, and I'm asking you this question. Will you die in sins or you die in Christ? And those who trusted Jesus Christ, they have Christ's righteousness and they can never go to hell again. Let me say that again. Those who have trusted Jesus Christ as the only way to heaven and they have trusted in the death, burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ, which is the gospel, they will never go to hell again. Because salvation is one time and it's forever. And that is why Satan is attacking this truth so that people will not accept the simplicity of the gospel of Jesus Christ. There are so many popular preachers out there that they are trying to, uh, they are trying to corrupt the simplicity of this gospel. But the Bible is very clear on this. What must I do to be saved? Philip Angela asked Paul and Silas. What did Paul say? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. In fact, Paul and Silas, they answered the man and said, and they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Which is a simple answer to any soul that is seeking answer to what must he do to be saved. Alright, thank you so much for watching this channel and I hope you are going to leave a like or subscribe to this channel if this video has been a blessing to you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.